Chapter 21 I wanted you are listening at novelfull.audio. Let's forget all this happened and let him go, alright. It was all fun and games, yeah. The manager, who had been hurriedly called over by a waiter, walked up to him with an anxious expression. He's the young master of Fong Yuan's bodyguard agency. It's best if you don't offend someone like him. Zhao Zhan, stop fighting. Hearing Yu Jiao Jiao's voice, Zhao Zhan obediently flung his hand away. The bullier man between the two must have been too strong, and Fang Tianlu staggered back a few steps from the impact with his back heavily poking the corner of the table. Young master, are you all right? Young master. Get lost, you bunch of useless f asterisk gs. Fang Tianlu's breathing quickened in anger. He kicked away the attendant beside him and glared at Zhao Zhan, who was protectively standing in front of Yu Jiao Jiao. You. I'll remember you. You were asking for it. Zhao Zhan's eyes were intimidating. He was not afraid to pack a punch at all. If you had touched her just now, I would have definitely crushed your wrist to a pulp. Fang Tianlu shivered from the thought. He subconsciously looked down at his wrist. It was starting to swell. Not to mention holding chopsticks, even moving his fingers hurt right now. Where on earth did this fiend come from? His aura was even more terrifying than the most powerful fighter in his bodyguard agency. Seeing that the situation had calmed down, Manager Lee quickly comforted the couple, didn't you want to use the kitchen just now? I'll get someone to bring you there right now. Yu Jiao Jiao nodded her head in thanks. Thank you for your trouble. Zhao Zhan followed closely behind Yu Jiao Jiao, then turned to look at Fang Tian Lu, giving him a silent warning. Young Master Fang, the dishes on your table today will be on the house. I'm really sorry to have disturbed your meal. How about this, I'll get the waiter to heat up bath water for you, and you can go upstairs and take a good rest. The kitchen will make you a midnight snack to fill your stomach as well. Do I look like I need a free meal? I have money, but I'm still short of a meal. Fang Tianlu looked at Manager Li from the corner of his eyes. I'm not going to rest either. I'd like to see how delicious that thing will be from that girl. Tell them to cook another plate. I'll pay for it. If she can do it, I won't let my father find trouble with your inn. The shopkeeper looked troubled. Was there something wrong with Fong Tian Lu? He had just been beaten up for causing trouble, and now he wanted to eat someone else's food. What's wrong? You can't do it. If you don't want to, I'll tell my father about what happened today. Let's see how he'll punish you. Don't, don't, don't. Let me ask them and get back to you. When Manager Lee arrived at the kitchen, he saw the pampered little girl sitting on the stool and eating a bowl of egg custard. The fierce that looking man didn't look fierce at all. Instead, he looked feeble and compliant holding a spatula. He was frying the bean sprouts they had just mentioned. When Yu Jiao Jiao saw who it was, she raised her brows slightly. It seemed like the prey had already fallen into her trap. What's the matter? I have a request. Manager Lee was a little embarrassed, but he had no choice but to continue. Can I buy some of your bean sprouts? Thinking about how Fang Tian Lu was still waiting in the main hall made his back shudder. Manager Lee said in a small voice, that man just now wanted to taste your dish, so you see. This is a small matter. Yu Jiao Jiao's face was relaxed, it's just a dish, it's very simple. I just don't know if you'll be giving the money. Or will that generous face of yours do the trick? Chapter 22 Stupid you are listening at novel full dot audio. Young Master Fong will give you the silver. That's even better. You may not know this, but if he buys my soybean sprouts, I'll give him a plate for free. If he's generous enough to buy them, I'll give him ten silver for a plate. After all, everything comes with a price. Why don't you go and ask him if he's willing to pay for it? The only one who could talk about ripping people off with such confidence was probably Yu Jiao Jiao. The shopkeeper looked at Zhao Zhan for help, hoping that he would say a few good words to subdue his wife. 
After all, no matter how much he doted on his wife, there should be a limit, right? He couldn't just let his wife mess around outside and make enemies for him, could he? Sensing the shopkeeper's gaze, Zhao Zhan was puzzled. What's wrong? Just do as she says. My wife will not be wrong. Yu Jiao Jiao couldn't help but laugh. Go and ask the money from him. You can only give him the food after he gives you the money. Zhao Zhan nodded in agreement. Manager Li was speechless and couldn't understand the duo. Wangshan Town was a small place. In the past two years, two new inns had been opened, and his business plummeted. Money could boost one's courage, and reluctance could stimulate one's courage. The manager had Zhao Zhan stir dot fry it for him as he walked out to look for Fang Tianli. Young Master Fang, the two guests easily agreed. They knew that you wanted to eat and made extra. However, they said that the food was expensive and they spent a lot of effort to prepare. Manager Li racked his brain to think of a way to make the dishes sound more expensive. There's a dish that I can't afford to eat in this lousy town. Young Master Fong smacked the purse in his arms on the table. Tell them to cook it well. We have plenty of money. The shopkeeper's face was full of hesitation. He carefully said, Young Master Fong, you may need to pay in silver first. Ten silver, in fact. As expected of the bumpkins of the village, they have eyes for money. Fang Tianliu's face was full of mockery. He took out one silver from his purse and threw it on the table. Take it and give it to them. Ah! Manager Li's footsteps became much lighter as he held the silver. Who would have thought that there were really people in this world who were fools? Yu Jiao Jiao took the silver and asked Zhao Zhan to keep it. Then, she gave a plate of stir-dot-fried pork with soybean sprouts to Manager Li and asked him to serve it. When Manager Li smelled the aromatic dishes, he felt a little hungry again. The streaky pork slices were cut very thin, and the oil in the pot had a slightly burnt yellow surface. Mixed with the golden and refreshing color of the yellow bean sprouts, an indescribable fragrance drilled straight into his nose. In the cave, the food made by Zhao Zhan using the crock pot was already delicious enough. Now that he had a kitchen with all the utensils, it was even more amazing. Dot having gotten used to the food he made, Yu Jiao Jiao felt that it was nothing special even after taking a bite of the inn's food. As soon as Manager Li entered the hall, Fang Tianliu's nose twitched in excitement. He was a glutton to begin with. He went to Willow Village today because he had heard that there was a newly opened eatery in this town that used wild boar meat from the mountains. He didn't expect to be deceived the moment he ate it. That was why he smashed the shop to bits and came to the Rising Cloud Inn for a night's stay. Now that the aroma filled the room, Fang Tianlu could feel his stomach rumbling with hunger. Why are you so slow? Quickly bring them over right now. Chapter 23 Cooperation you are listening at NovelFull.audio Coming, coming. Manager Li jogged over and placed the plate on the table. Young Master Fang, please enjoy the followers who were standing around tried their best to widen their eyes and look at the dish on the table. They had never seen such a dish before. It looked good and rich, but he didn't know if it was delicious. However, if it wasn't delicious, the fragrance was simply too deceiving for him. Fang Tianlu couldn't help but pick up a piece with his chopsticks and put it into his mouth. Manager Li, who was standing at the side, also subconsciously stretched out his neck to wait for his reaction. However, he didn't say anything for a long time, and his chopsticks only dug in for more. In just a few minutes, the dish was finished. Fang Tianlu wiped his mouth with a handkerchief, and his face looked satisfied. Manager Li, go and tell those two bumpkins that I want more of this dish. Tell them to send over as much as they have. Money is not an issue. There were other guests in the lobby. Originally, they had the intention to watch the show, but now, one or two of them couldn't help but gather around. They looked at the dish that Fang Tianfu had cleared out and was very curious. Manager Li, is this dish really that delicious? 
That's right, that's right. Manager Lee, where are your manners? Why didn't you let us try such a good dish? Isn't that so? Manager Lee, why don't you help us ask if there are any more left? You can't let us smell it and not let us have a taste. Where is your hospitality? Everyone, let's not get too ahead of yourself. Manager Lee raised his hand to signal for everyone to lower their voices. Everyone, please be patient. Let me go to the kitchen and ask. Yu Jiao Jiao and Zhao Zhan had already finished their meal and were currently sitting in the kitchen, waiting for Manager Lee to return. They said that Manager Lee would definitely cooperate with them, and as expected, the other party did as told. The road was paved, and Yu Jiao Jiao was too lazy to move about the rest of the things. She poked Zhao Zhan's thin waist and asked him to come forward. I am Li Shuecheng, the manager of this rising cloud inn. How should I address the both of you respectfully? Manager Li's attitude was very humble. Zhao Zhan. What's the matter? Zhao Zhan's words were concise and comprehensive. He did not know how to mince his words. If there's nothing else, my wife and I will pay for the materials and go upstairs to rest. There is something I would like to discuss with about Mr. Zhao, Manager Li's tone was solemn as he spoke carefully. To tell you the truth, young Master Fong was very satisfied with this stir-dot-fried pork with soybean sprouts dish. Other than him, the other customers in the shop are also very curious about this dish. It may sound presumptuous to say this, but are you willing to sell the ingredients and the recipe to my inn? This way, we can have a stable income for our family. What do you think? This was Zhao Zhan's first time discussing business with someone, and his heart was very tense. This first business deal was of utmost importance to his sweetheart's future. He was nervous on the inside, but his expression was unreadable. He only muttered to himself for a moment before throwing the question back. May I know how you plan to acquire it? I think the two of you have made such a fuss today because you wanted to cooperate with the inn, right? Manager Li put on the shrewdness of a businessman and said meaningfully, young Master Fong's appearance should be a coincidence that happened by chance, and it better promoted your dish. In my opinion, the yellow bean sprouts you used in your dish shouldn't be anything particularly valuable, right? Chapter 24 Price you are listening at novel full dot audio. There's one thing that I'm aware of, the rarer something is, the more precious it becomes. Zhao Zhan was not at a disadvantage. He straightened his back and asked, so, how much do you plan to offer? Manager Li completely retracted his contemptuous thoughts. He originally thought that these two were just slightly clever farmers, but after a bit of discussion, the right to speak completely fell into the hands of the other party. He laughed bitterly and continued, you really don't give in an inch. Then I'll also tell you an enticing price. If this dish is cooked, our inn will buy it from you for one silver per plate. After all, there are many people like young Master Fong who are willing to pay a high price for a meal in the capital, but there aren't many here. I won't hide it from you. I plan to set the price at five silver per plate. I have just estimated the amount. One plate probably used less than half a caddy, so what do you think of the price of three silver per caddy if I get it from you too? Zhao Zhan quickly did some calculations. This manager Li indeed did not lower the price. Sure. Zhao Zhan nodded his head readily. We can deliver these soybean sprouts to you once every three days but we can only deliver about 10 caddies each time. The land that they had planted the beans has been harvested. The soybeans could not be completely relied on in the mountains. Although there were many soybeans at home, a batch of them should be kept for planting. Other than that, there was also the issue of tofu and bean curd. Everything required soybeans, so it was impossible to have to only rely on bean sprouts. If used carefully, it was still possible to last until the next season of soybeans. Ten caddies is a little too little. Moreover, you're sending it once every three days. How about lesser? If this inn's business gets better, ten caddies and that many yellow bean sprouts might only be a day's supply. 
Manager Li, Yu Jiao Jiao, who had been silent the entire time, said with a smile, Just now, my husband said that things are still vaguely precious. Although these soybean sprouts are rare, if you really let everyone eat them every day, they'll have enough sooner or later. She adjusted her seat to face the manager. Ten caddies every three days. You can release a fixed amount of this dish every day so that the customers who come to your restaurant can only order it after spending a certain amount. As for those who want to try it but are not willing to spend a lot of money, you can give a chance to draw a lottery every three days for those customers who have come to your restaurant to try it. Regardless of the amount spent, they will be rewarded with a dish. In this way, not only will the customers maintain a sense of freshness for this dish, but it can also generate more income for your restaurant. Isn't this a win.win .win situation? Moreover, once you put forward this request, wouldn't everyone in Wangshan town now know about your generosity? If you tell them, you can also make yourself look good. This way, they will be happy to spend, and you will be happy to earn. Manager Li was enlightened by this suggestion. He looked at Yu Jiao Jiao with a burning gaze, you sure are smart and quick dot witted. I've been doing business for so many years, but I've never met someone as smart as you. It's really a shame that you aren't working for me, Noel.n, you don't have to be so modest. I only brought out other people's ideas to tell you. Such sales tactics were common in the modern world. Yu Jiao Jiao could easily propose 8 to 10 other ideas for him. Manager Li was touched. Miss, you're so understanding. It's a deal then. With the agreement, the contract was settled. Yu Jiao Jiao raised her head and glanced at Zhao Zhan. It was only then that she realized that he was in a bad mood. She asked with a puzzled tone, what's wrong? Chapter 25 Happy you are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Zhao Zhan's lips moved, but he shook his head. Yu Jiao Jiao's brows twitched, and she asked, Do you think that I've regained my memories, or do you think that I'm lying about being your wife? Zhao Zhan, who was pouring hot water into the bath barrel, dropped the wooden barrel in his hand to the ground with a thud sound. It seems like I was right. Yu Jiao Jiao walked up to him barefooted and held Zhao Zhan's face with both hands, forcing him to look at her. Zhao Zhan, of these two things, which one do you care more about? Zhao Zhan felt like smoke was about to rise from the top of his head. He was forced to look at his heart in a panic, his chest rising and falling rapidly. I. Have you recovered your memory? He tried his best to calm his breathing and looked at her. The doctor said that there is a blood clot in your head. If you regain your memory, it means that the blood clot is dissipating. It's a good thing. Jiao Jiao, I hope that you can be healthy and never get hurt again. He was so serious that it made Yu Jiao Jiao embarrassed to tease him again. Yu Jiao Jiao's fingers twitched as she tried to pull her hand back, but Zhao Zhan pressed down on the back of her hand and pulled her into his arms. He took a deep breath before whispering into her ear, Jiao Jiao, I don't care if you're telling the truth about being my wife or not. In my heart, you're my wife. Everyone thinks that you're my wife. I think the same. But don't take it to heart. If you regain your memory, then if you want to leave, you can. The words after that were stuck in his throat. Yu Jiao Jiao was overjoyed, and she couldn't stop trembling in Zhao Zhan's arms. Are you crying? Zhao Zhan took a step back nervously to check her expression. He heaved a sigh of relief when he realized that he had been deceived. I was wrong. You're wrong. You clearly can't bear to let me go, but you still want to talk about it. Why can't you say it? Zhao Zhan had nowhere to hide from his own despicable thoughts. I'm afraid that you'll suffer if you follow me. I haven't decided yet, Yu Jiao Jiao said honestly, spreading her hands innocently. I admit that I have a good impression of you so far, but if you make me unhappy in the future, I won't care if I've recovered my memory or not, I'll choose to leave. There's only one reason why I'm standing here and talking to you, and that's you. Zhao Zhan was overjoyed by that statement. 
He was even happier than the first time he had successfully caught a prey without being injured. He lifted Yu Jiao Jiao up high and spun her around a few times. It was only when he heard her scream and felt dizzy that he reluctantly put her down. I'll prepare your bath now. While Yu Jiao Jiao was taking a bath, Zhao Zhan was standing at the door, watching out for any movements. After she finished washing up and lay on the bed, Zhao Zhan first washed his clothes and hung them up. Then, he tidied up the room before lying on the soft couch in the room. As long as he could stay by her side, he felt so excited that he could kill a mammoth in one fell swoop. He had received more than thirty silver from his family the last time, and he had spent half of it buying new things. It was unrealistic to build a good house with the remaining ten silver. Zhao Zhan tossed and turned on the soft couch with anticipation. The most important thing right now was to build a house before winter came. Otherwise, the soil would be too hard in the cold weather, and they would have to wait until spring to melt the frost. He couldn't let his sweetheart stay in the towns in all the time. Her appearance was too eye-dot catching, and he couldn't be at ease, afraid that others would chase after her. Chapter 26 Spicy you are listening at NovelFull.audio After finalizing everything with Manager Li, Yu Jiao Jiao followed Zhao Zhan back to Willow Village the next day and taught him how to grow more bean sprouts. The tofu he made yesterday was ready. In the afternoon, Zhao Zhan made a plate of fried tofu according to Yu Jiao Jiao's instructions. It would be great if chili could be added in, Yu Jiao Jiao's taste buds never had spicy food ever since she came to this place, and now that she thought about it, she couldn't help but crave it. Zhao Zhan, all the injuries on my body have healed. Can you add chili to the meals next time? Chili. Is it something fresh like soybeans? Zhao Zhan couldn't think of an explanation even after racking his brain as to what it was. No way. Don't tell me there's no chili here. Yu Jiao Jiao was instantly filled with despair. With a bitter face, she felt that there was nothing left for her to live for. It's like a kind of red and pointy millet pepper. It's about the size of my pinky actually. When I eat it, my mouth feels like it's on fire. There's also a bigger one. It's edible regardless of whether it's green or red. It has wrinkly skin and is smooth. Think about it. Have you seen it on the mountain? Zhao Zhan's eyes brightened slightly when he heard her description, and then he subconsciously avoided Yu Jiao Jiao's gaze without saying a word. Yu Jiao Jiao sat on the stool sadly, feeling that the tofu on the plate was no longer fragrant. She didn't even finish the meal like she usually would. Zhao Zhan silently waited for her to finish and quietly cleaned up the dishes. Seeing that she was a little sleepy, he carried her to the cave for an afternoon nap. As soon as Yu Jiao Jiao fell asleep, Zhao Zhan went deep into the forest with his bow and knife on his back. If he remembered correctly, he should have seen this chilly item that Zhao Jiao was talking about, but the place where it was located was dangerous. If he brought Zhao Jiao with him, he was afraid that he would not be able to take care of her safety. Zhao Zhan walked alone in the mountains for an hour. The deeper he went, the more he felt that the mountain became deathly silent. The muscles on Zhao Zhan's arms were tense. His eyes were like those of a hawk as he looked forward, his ears listened in on the movements around him. Soon, he walked to the place solely based on visual memory. He didn't see the crumpled chili, but he saw a large patch of pinky dot-sized chili that was mentioned. Zhao Zhan carried the basket on his back and quickly picked them. His movements were very light, and he would check his surroundings from time to time. Suddenly, the roar of an animal came from not far away. Zhao Zhan's eyes widened, and the speed of plucking sped up. When a basket was full, he took out the bag he carried with him and continued to pick the rest. The things in the mountains could be destroyed by the prey at any time. The more he picked, the longer she would stay. That was what he hoped for. Thinking of Yu Jiao Jiao, Zhao Zhan could not help but be distracted for a moment. At this moment, a tiger that had been waiting for an open opportunity pounced forward. Hearing the sound of the wind behind him, 
Zhao Zhan immediately protected the chilies beside him. As he rolled away, he moved the basket to a low dot lying area near the root of a tree. Having failed in its first attack, the tiger breathed heavily and stared at Zhao Zhan with its golden eyes. Zhao Zhan's hair stood on end. This was the tiger's territory, and he had been here for too long, so he had been discovered. Zhao Zhan, who was half dot crouched on the ground, quietly reached out to grab his bow and arrow. The tiger heard the movement and quickly ran over. Before he could even draw his bow, the tiger had already arrived in front of him. The fangs were bared with saliva that hung from the sides of its mouth. The tiger, who had been hungry for a long time, stared at its prey, Zhao Zhan. Yu Jiao Jiao was awoken by the tiger's roar from the depths of the mountain forest. It was only then that she realized that Zhao Zhan was not in the cave with her. She took another look at the place where Zhao Zhan usually kept his hunting tools. His bow, arrows, and long saber were not there. The tiger's roar was getting louder and more frequent. It was obviously a roar of threat. For the first time in her life, she experienced what it meant to be burning with anxiety. Chapter 27 Bloodstained You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. When the sky turned dark, there was movement at the cave entrance. Jiao Jiao. Zhao Zhan looked at the woman standing at the entrance of the cave from afar. He subconsciously raised his voice and quickened his steps. I'm sorry I came back late. His body was drenched with sweat, and the coldness from outside hit her in the face. Are you hungry? Look what I found. Zhao Zhan was nervous while he spoke. He placed the basket on the ground as if he was presenting a treasure. The red thing you talked about, is this the chili you were talking about? The sharp red chilies looked very pleasing. Do you know that your clothes are all torn? Yu Jiao Jiao grabbed a torn hole in Zhao Zhan's clothes and tore it apart, revealing his blood dot soaked inner clothes. The blood on your body. Did it come from the tiger in the mountains, she asked. As she spoke, she stepped forward and took off his inner clothes. Zhao Zhan was caught off guard, and his entire upper body was exposed. There were two crisscrossing wounds on his chest, clearly caused by sharp claws. The wound was very deep, and the bright red flesh was split into both sides. After the inner clothes that were almost glued to the wound were forcefully torn off, blood kept flowing out. Jiao Jiao. Zhao Zhan was panicking. He wanted to hug her but was afraid that the blood on his body would stain her. He clenched and loosened his fist. Then, he looked at her with his burning eyes of truth. Don't be afraid. My injury will heal very soon. His face was getting more pale due to the excessive blood loss, he was even starting to feel dizzy when he spoke. Yu Jiao Jiao pursed her lips and didn't say a word. She grabbed the other party's hand and chided him, shouldn't you lie down on the bed? Do you want to watch yourself bleed out and die? I'll dirty the blanket. Zhao Zhan refused to lie on the bed, so he took his clothes and laid down. Yu Jiao Jiao rubbed ointment on his chest as if it was free. Zhao Zhan's consciousness gradually faded, and he muttered over and over again, Jiao Jiao, I've brought back the chili for you, lo this fool. Yu Jiao Jiao was extremely angry, but she still took care of the other person without complaint. At night, Zhao Zhan's body began to heat up. Fortunately, there was still some liquor in the cave. Yu Jiao Jiao took off his clothes and wiped the liquor over and over again to drop his temperature. At dawn, Zhao Zhan was hit by the sunlight outside the cave. He frowned and slowly opened his eyes. Jiao Jiao was leaning on his shoulder, breathing slowly and sleeping soundly. When he realized that he was naked, he turned into the color of a cooked shrimp. Did he do this? Why was he lying together with the love of his life? The love of his life that moved in his arms made all the bones in Zhao Zhan's body go soft, and the pain in his wound seemed to be non-existent. Especially when he felt the changes in his body. Zhao Zhan's breathing was heavy, and his rough hands seemed to be hovering over her. His body temperature gradually rose from the overthinking. 
Oh. Yu Jiao Jiao, who was lying beside him, was alerted by the change. She moaned and was about to wake up from her sleep. Zhao Zhan hurriedly pulled away his blanket, hid, put on some clothes, and walked towards the river behind the cave. He had a feeling that if the temperature jumped any further, he might not be able to control himself and explode. Zhao Zhan immediately jumped into the river. The image of Yu Jiao Jiao's pouting face when she was asleep appeared in his mind. Zhao Zhan quickly shook his head, and his entire body was submerged in the water. The water in the autumn pond was bone dot piercingly cold. Zhao Zhan had to stay in it for a long while to suppress the unspeakable impulse. Chapter 28 The village you are listening at novel full dot audio. He was clearly still weak and only half dot conscious last night. Now he was full of energy since a new day arrived. He wrapped the wounds on his body with a new piece of gauze, then squatted at the entrance of the cave and began to cook. Yu Jiao Jiao was tired from staying up late taking care of Zhao Zhan, and it was already noon when she woke up. Seeing Zhao Zhan crouching at the cave entrance, Yu Jiao Jiao asked in a hoarse voice, Zhao Zhan, are you feeling better? I'm all right. Zhao Zhan put down his work and walked over when he heard the commotion. Do you want to sleep a little longer or do you want to sleep after eating? I've already prepared lunch and kept it warm in the crock pot. Let's eat first. Yu Jiao Jiao got out of bed and washed up. When she saw that there was a bright red chili in today's dish, Yu Jiao Jiao was so happy that she ate an extra biscuit. Jiao Jiao, I'm going to the village later to sow the two paddy fields at home. I'll leave the soybean and chili seeds for you to plant so that they could grow in the future. If we don't get that land soon, it won't be easy to get it back when they've plowed it and planted the things. Yu Jiao Jiao leaned lazily on the small stool that Zhao Zhan had specially made for her and nodded her head in boredom. Go on. Otherwise, if you rely on the mountain to feed you, who knows when you'll be able to eat. Zhao Zhan's home was not too far away from their thatched house. The population of Willow Village wasn't high density. The houses in the village were arranged in three rows, each row contained about a dozen households. Zhao Zhan's family's old house was located in the middle of the second row of Willow Village. From the thatched house to the two plots of land, they had to pass through half the village. As the only hunter in the village, Zhao Zhan had always been the center of attention. Sometimes, when the villagers wanted to eat meat during the new year, they would occasionally go to Zhao Zhan to see if he had caught any prey. If they happened to encounter Zhao Zhan's wild chickens and rabbits, they could buy them directly from Zhao Zhan, which was a few copper coins cheaper than buying them at the market. Because of this, other than Zhao Kuazi's family, the other families in the village had a pretty good relationship with Zhao Zhan. Look, isn't that the girl from our village beside Zhao Zhan? That girl is really pretty, just like a fairy in the painting. Hey, who's that girl with Zhao Zhan? Under the thick willow tree in the middle of Willow Village, a group of women holding wicker baskets was gathered together to do needlework. When they saw Zhao Zhan walking over with Yu Jiao Jiao, they started discussing among themselves. Zhao Zhan, this kid is really amazing. Even if he's poor and doesn't even have a house or land, he still managed to find a beautiful wife. Tell me, when did Zhao Zhan marry this pretty lady? How come we didn't hear anything? Zhao Kuaizi was surrounded by this group of nosy people, and her expression was extremely ugly. Ever since that heavy rain, she had been drenched and had to pay such a large sum of money. She had fallen ill and had a fever. It was only today that she had the strength to go out. What bad luck of bumping into them on her first day out. Dot Zhao Kuazi pouted and thought to herself, but on the surface, she threw the needle and thread into the wicker basket. She pointed at the mulberry and scolded the nosy people, don't talk nonsense in broad daylight. I cut ties with Zhao Zhan long ago. How would I know about his matters? I don't know if you've heard the wolves howling at the mountain gaze behind our village recently. Do you know why that is? What? There were wolves howling. Is that true? The woman closest to Zhao Kuazi looked panicked. 
It's a big deal that there are wolves here. Our village is the closest to Wangshan town. There have been disasters there before caused by wolves. Chapter 29 The past you are listening at novelfull.audio Don't worry, I'm not done yet, Zhao Kwasi was being mysterious. Do you know what attracts wolves the most? Naturally, it's because there's an ungrateful person in our village. This ingrate is the same species as the wolves on the mountain. How is he a human? That's a beast if you ask me. As Zhao Quasi spoke, her eyes would occasionally glance at Zhao Zhan, who was gradually approaching, and her eyes almost rolled back to her head. The people sitting beside her quietly moved away from her. If she hadn't made it clear just now, then they now completely understood who Zhao Quasi was scolding. Zhao Zhan, it's broad daylight. Why are there vermin here? As they walked past the group, Yu Jiao Jiao casually asked further, is it because rats always hide in the dark and make noise, so we can't find her? Good one, dot, Zhao Kua Zi, your niece dot in dot Law's mouth is really sharp. She's calling you a mouse, did you hear that? Qian, who was at odds with Zhao Kua Zi in the village, laughed the loudest. She looked at Zhao Quasi with spite. You've been sick for so long recently. Could it be that you're just angry with your own nephew? Qian lived next door to Zhao's house. The two of them had originally married into Willow Village from the same village. When they were little girls, the two of them often argued and wanted to be the best dot-looking girls in the village. Even when they looked at each other, the two of them would compare who was more well-off in life. Qian Zi married into a well dot to dot do family. At that time, Zhao Quasi had not reconciled for a long time. However, later, Zhao Quasi worked hard and gave birth to three boys in a row. Qian Zi only managed to get a boy after giving birth to three daughters. Zhao Quasi could be considered to have ruthlessly stepped on Qian Quasi in terms of status now. The two of them had completely shed all pretenses of cordiality. Qian Zi. Do you think you're funny? They might be talking about you instead. Who are you trying to play? Qian Zi slapped her thigh and stood up, wanting to pull Zhao Zhan away. Your aunt is already calling the young lady beside you a little vixen. Are you going to let that happen? Zhao Zhan dodged her hand and took Yu Jiao Jiao's hand. He took a step back and said coldly, Qian Zi. I'm going to take a look at my family's land now. Qian Zi was excited when she heard this. Oh. No wonder they said they were going to move out. Zhao Quasi, what made you this generous? When were you willing to give the land to Zhao Zhan? Didn't you say that the land belonged to your family? You guys don't know, right? Ever since Zhao Zhan's father passed away, Zhao Zhan's life in that house has been inhuman. He wakes up before dawn to feed the animals, sweep the yard, and cook. He does all the chores at home. And even so, they still don't give him proper meals. When Zhao Zhan was 15 years old, if it wasn't for the fact that he had a fever and the doctor said that he might get a spinal disease if he continued to drag it out, you wouldn't have thrown such a young man out, right? If it were up to me, if it weren't for Zhao Zhan's good fortune and his excellent hunting skills, I'm afraid he wouldn't have survived that winter when you sent him away. Qian Zi spoke so quickly that Zhao Quasi didn't have time to cover it up, and she already said everything with embellishments. Chapter 30 Work You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Zhao Quasi immediately grabbed the speaking woman's hair in a hurry to stop her from saying more. The two women soon wrestled with each other. After the women who were sitting around them heard such a juicy drama, half of them went to stop the fight, while the other half surrounded Zhao Zhan and Yu Jiao Jiao. Zhao Zhan, is this your wife? Was what she said true? Hello. Yu Jiao Jiao greeted them with a smile on her face. In a few days, our family will be building a house. When you're almost done with the farm work at home, you can ask your family members to go and tell my Zhao Zhan. We want to finish building the house as soon as possible, so we need quite a lot of people to help. There was work to do. 
The woman that Jiao Jiao spoke to had her eyes lit up in surprise. Thought it was almost winter, and when winter came, the house would have no income. If they could make a few copper coins before winter came, they might be able to have meat and vegetables in the house for the new year. I'll go back and tell my husband, Li Miao squeezed to the front and spoke to Yu Jiao Jiao affectionately, Zhao Zhan's wife, which village are you from? Are you two planning to set up a banquet? If you want to set up the banquet, my sister Dot in Dot Law can go to your house to help you. Look at your soft and tender skin. One look and I can tell you're different from us. How did you fall for Zhao Zhan? Yu Jiao Jiao's tone was gentle as she said, Zhao Zhan is a good person, and his hunting skills are also excellent. It's rare for him to fail to catch his prey. It's strange that no one has taken a fancy to such a steady and fine man. That's right. I'm telling you, I've always thought that Zhao Zhan was a promising man. If it wasn't for the fact that he doesn't have land or a house, he would have been chased after earlier. They were all from the same village. Although they were not very clear about Zhao Zhan's life in the past, they had a rough idea that Zhao Zhan's life was not very good. When Li Miao married into the village, Zhao Zhan was 13 years old. In the middle of winter, he had frostbite and his family did nothing to help. She couldn't bear to see it, so she had her man at home secretly apply medicine on Zhao Zhan twice. However, even if there was medicine, it made not much of a difference. Hearing Yu Jiao Jiao praise Zhao Zhan now, Li Miao wished that the young couple could grow old together. We don't have to worry about money now. As long as we work hard, we can always get by. Yu Jiao Jiao had a good impression of Li Miao and said in a gentle tone, You see, we haven't been here for long, and we're already planning to build a house. If your family doesn't have any problems, come to my house to help. We'll pay six copper coins a day for the construction of the house, and we'll provide you with two meals a day. However, I don't know how to cook. If you're willing to help me cook, I'll give you five copper coins a day. This was a great deal. Li Miao was excited. I won't dare say that my cooking is very good, but I definitely know how to cook. Speaking of which, Li Miao was only three years older than Zhao Zhan. However, her face was sallow and her skin was rough, making her look like a much older woman. Then, when we're ready to start construction, I'll get Zhao Zhan to let you know in advance. You're already currying favor with him. Wasn't it just a house dot building job? I don't even think it's worth it. The woman who spoke with a face full of jealousy looked to be in her twenties. Her hair was combed in a matron style, and her eyes fell on Yu Jiao Jiao like knives. Zhao Zhan, aren't you going to do anything about your wife being in the limelight? Yu Jiao Jiao looked at the scene in amusement. What was this lady trying to achieve?